We had some pretty hefty rainstorms last week in California, finally after a winter of no rain. I warmed Aries up as usual and planned to ride a pattern called a clover leaf. Imagine a square. You ride the square and make, for starters, a right turn halfway through each side of the square. By making a turn halfway down each side, you eventually get around the whole square and make a clover leaf pattern. This pattern teaches the horse how to turn, go straight, and you can also add the halt in there. Aries was a little leery about riding near the edge of the arena, something we have to work on. Here, I accidentally bump Aries with my leg and startle him. But after a quick disengagement of the hindquarters, he calmed down very quickly. As with all of my training sessions, I make sure to dismount and give Aries a break. Each time I get off, he has completed a successful ride. By doing 10 of those in one session, Aries will learn that much faster. Today, I walked the pattern we were riding. Aries learns very quickly from patterns. After riding to the right, I then reversed directions and did the pattern to the left. He was easier to keep straight and forward when tracking left. I ended the ride with a session of endo tapping. Today Aries was finally starting to really relax. His eyes were even fluttering because he was so relaxed. It's really great to see him finally letting go through the tapping. Once a horse understands endo tapping and responds to it with relaxation, it becomes an invaluable tool in dealing with fear and anxiety.
Today, Aries was a mud monster, and it was still raining. So I decided to make today a groundwork day. We started out with ground driving. Aries was very responsive to pressure on the line, and I had to be quite careful to not overcorrect him. Once we got going, Aries seemed to settle into this new and unusual walking arrangement. All of the arenas were flooded, so we worked in the driveways of the ranch. Ah, the perils of winter. After ground driving, I pulled out the tarp. I wanted to see if I could use endotapping to improve how Aries dealt with the tarp. I started out by tapping him until he gave a sign of relaxation, licking his lips, a big sigh, or lowering his head. Once he was in a relaxed frame of mind, I asked Aries to go over the tarp. Rather than skittering across it nervously, he calmly walked over the tarp. The tapping will not take away all anxiety, but by achieving a greater degree of calm, Tapping helps short-circuit the horse's fight-or-flight response. Since he was so calm, I decided to play with a huge ball that is used in horse games. I wasn't sure how he would react since he'd never played with the ball. Well, there's your answer. This is the power of teaching your horse how to be calm. And yes, it can be taught. If you haven't read the articles written by Paul Dufresne, I urge you to go and read them. The link is in the video description below or in my blog post. Since we were clearly masters of walking over the tarp, I decided to add some motion. It's one thing to stomp on the tarp when it's down and can't defend itself. It's another to deal with it while it's moving. Aries was definitely more anxious. It's exercises like this that allow me to see where the holes are in his training. I will say, the tarp got a beautiful shoulder in out of Aries.
Since it was Scary Object Day, I grabbed Aries' nemesis, the plastic bag. We have been working on another concept I got from Paul Dufresne, the security box. Basically, I put Aries' feet in a certain place, a security box. I want him to learn that as long as he stays in the box, nothing will hurt him. Look at how well he is tolerating the plastic bag flying all around his head, but he doesn't move his feet. Those ears are tracking the bag just fine though. Finally, I propped the tarp up on a saddle rack that was by the arena to add yet another dimension, height. I then asked Aries to cross over the tarp and stop on it. I then went about relaxing him with some endo tapping. The first time he was on the tarp, it took him a long time to finally relax and lick and chew. He also nibbled on the whip. But the second time I asked him to stand on the tarp and I tapped him, he licked and chewed within a minute or so. Check out his eyes. He's struggling to keep them open. Mm -hmm. 